everyone, it's Rebecca here. Now I'm going to talk about a topic that not many people actually talk about on YouTube, and that is wood eating catfish. So, a lot of people are told when they first get a lot of different types of lower cardio, so the plecos, that they're wood eating. So, these are the genus, particularly Panek and Panaculus, also the Cochlearidon group of Pan of hypersthemus, although the Cochlidon group is known as the Cochlidon group because they were previously identified under the genus Cochlidon. So that includes the members such as hypersthemus Cochlidon, hypersthemus sonae, I think. So these, and um, there's also another species, I can't remember which, and I might be a Lassie and Sistress, but I can't remember so we're often told as a curse that these fish eat wood and that is a bit of a vague statement because what is eat um cats eat grass do they digest it not no basically um they're obligate carnivores so a lot of animals will eat things they just can't digest and sometimes it's a disorder known as pica in humans such as the humans that eat nails and just wood or anything they can't actually digest so the word eat is not very good, but then we use for diet, especially in fish, we say they will eat this, they're herbivores, so they eat vegetable matter. But this is sort of, when it comes to these wood-eating fish, it's not great to use. And I, my tank, this is my panaculus tank. So these are, are the wood-eaters. So that includes the flashback panaculus um, albivermis, panaculus macus. I mean, there's a lot of them, but those are the two most common. And you will notice they will gnaw on the wood, and you get this sort of woody build up along the, like, oh, sediment along the bottom, and the wood slowly starts to get smaller and smaller, which has happened, especially with smaller bits of, like, driftwood. So, what's actually happening? Well, they don't actually simulate the wood. The simulate means they break it down and they digest it and. In the start, basically they process the wood and it becomes part of their matter, if you get what I mean. So like when we eat certain, most food, we digest it and we process it into stuff we can use. So they don't actually use the wood for that, they can't assimilate wood and that's been proven. They don't have the gut back to it and they don't have the gut like mechanisms actually to be able to break down wood. Although, why are they gnawing on this wood? And it isn't really used for digestion. But then a study by Lujan, uh, Lujan um, who's a scientist, I think he's in one of American universities, he did a study on isotopes, which is basically a method of using elements in chemistry to identify the origin of what the fish is eating using assessing the animal's own body parts or stomach contents. It's, bit difficult to explain, I should do a video on isotopes really because it's important, but basically it showed that the fish, and it was conducted on panacus, they weren't eating the wood, they were not directly consuming the wood's elements, instead they were eating the bacteria that was decomposing the wood. So that makes them pretty similar to Barium cistrus, which is an orthoid cheetah, which is a bio, I mean, contains a high lot of biofilm in their diet, which is bacteria. So these are kind of, they're more detritivores, so they're eating the stuff decaying other things. And that, to me, hints that they have a more, a diet that is more highly um, protein than would be suggested, because a lot of your herds with ancestors don't feed them too high protein because that can cause bloat. but these fish aren't herbivorous. They were said to eat wood, which is kind of, or xylophagus, which a wood eating thing that such as termites um, and cockroaches, no, not cockroaches, um, beavers, I think, are known as xylophagus, um, or phagus, depends how you want to say it. But these fish, no. They can't physically. So what would I feed them? Personally, I feed mine on soylent green, Rapache soylent green mix of morning wood. The, um, well, so, um, morning wood contains cellulose. They can't digest the cellulose, but it's part of natural diet and the stomach machinery sort of, or their digestive system is built for that. I also feed the fluval bug bites, 
Um, and the Hikari sinking rapers, they eat a lot of different things. But being wood eaters, or just breaking down the wood, they do produce a hell of a lot of waste. So the filtration has to be gigantic. Like pretty big for these fish, so that I don't think they're good for beginners. They're not good for a clean tank because these tanks aren't clean. It's all in the filters and it's a manky in there. Um, but that's really all I'm going to say on the wood eaters. They're ama are wood eating ish. They're an amazing group of fish. They're absolutely stunning. Some of them, especially the big panex. They're a bit more secretive, I'd say, than quite a few other species. Um, especially Panaculus, I find they're secretive, but those tails they have on them are beautiful. They're definitely a group to look into and a group to definitely consider if you've got big filtration, maybe on the clean tank, maybe not. They don't eat plants. These are all growing. They get dug up a bit because they do shift stuff around. But they're generally a great group of fish to have. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please comment, rate and subscribe. I'll try and do more um, over time. It's just finding time. I've finished my dissertation, so I should have a lot more now. Thank you.